Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to show you some quick lower third animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. As always, I'm trying to make it easier for editors to stay inside Premiere Pro and make things quick. Now, you have to gauge this by the project that you're on. This is really simple stuff, but sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you don't have the time, the money, the effort, or somebody's not paying you enough to go all the way to After Effects to create great looking motion graphics. I got a lower third. How do I uh, display that onto the screen? How do I make that emerge and make it simple? You know what? Some quick transitions dropped on a lower third are really great ways to animate. Let's go have a look. So I've got two examples here of a lower third. Let's go look at this. You can see, boom, the lower third comes up. And let's look at this one. Look at that. The lower third, if I open this up, I wanna show you that there are not multiple layers or multiple elements in here. This is strictly just a very simple lower third, but all of these elements are together in one title. Okay? So this is one title element. And this particular effect is, or transition is called zigzag block. So in the effects, in video transitions, you'll see a bunch of transitions down in there. And if you type in zig, there's zigzag blocks. And to change these, you're not clicking on the actual clip, you're clicking on the transition and that's the transition in here and if you go to the end of the transition you can see that you can pull this out if you're zoomed out too far and you're trying to grab that you won't be able to do this you need to be zoomed in to be able to see the edge of that okay and that the length of this is the length of that animation now this particular one, I actually started off screen because you, there's no uh, keyframing in here. You can't control the, the speed uh, that this shows on the screen other than taking the duration and dragging that out. And, and what you're also doing though is you might um, end up having to do what I he have here where the title actually starts way over here, but you don't see it because the zigzag blocks don't engage really until about this point. Now what I want to point out here is that I've designed this in such a way that it exposes the top of the lower third and keeps the bottom hidden because it it kind of looks like it's an animation that you would do for a title like this. In After Effects, maybe you would take each part and you would uh, make that animate separately. Now, probably in After Effects, you'd have the top text, the bottom text, and all those different lines animating separately with multiple different layers. Again, do that if you've got the time and the money and the budget. In here, I don't. I needed to make it quick. So let's look at the settings for this particular um, transition. Not many, but if you look down here in custom, this is where I set up horizontal at 32 and vertical at eight. If I change this to eight and eight, you'll see what the default looks like. And the default looks just like that. And if you change this to two, And you can see it's jumping on the screen all the way over to there. So that's why I chose 32 because it comes up a little bit smoother. So let's look at the other one. This is band wipe. Difference here is that it starts on two different sides of the lower third. We click on band wipe and click on custom and our choice is here, number of bands. So let's change this to 12 and see what happens. And you can see with 12, yikes, for my particular lower third, it destroys that look. You should never have text that's cut off like this. So that's why I chose the number I did. Let's go to a, a lesser value, this is four. And with this, you can see it's it just looks like a crop from one side to the other. So that didn't make sense. 
Uh, I messed around with this and came up with eight, and that happened to line up perfectly with that lower third. Um, and it's a transition that plays back instantly in real time and looks fantastic. So that's just two of the transitions. There's lots inside there. Go in there and explore and look around. And you can find that something as simple as a transition on an already built slap down lower third gets the job done when you need it super quick. All right. Hopefully you found this informative. Thanks to everyone for your wonderful support here on Video Revealed. It warms our heart. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe, please. If you want to take this up to a next level, then you can support us over on Patreon, um, where you can give as little as $1 a month to help to uh, keep great tutorials coming from Video Revealed. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.